Alright YouTube, what is up? Welcome back to another video. You guys asked for it, so here it is. Alright, so I posted a photo on my Instagram just there asking you guys what supplements do you take um, and if you wanted to know what supplements I'm taking at the moment, specifically protein um, and what the kind of consensus is, what should you take, what shouldn't you take, what's a fad, what's not a fad, what works, what doesn't work. Um, so I thought what better platform to do this on than YouTube. So first of all what I want to say is firstly supplements, it says it in the title, it is a supplementation of your diet so it's not a necessity it's not if I don't take supplements I'm not going to get shredded if I don't take supplements I'm not going to put on muscle if I don't take supplements I'm not going to be the aesthetic person you see on magazines or on TV shows or anything like that you are you and you can transform yourself with your own nutrition your perfect nutrition everything like that you can get from foods so you don't by any chance uh, any stretch of the imagination need to go out and spend thousands of dollars to become the next Steve Cook or the next Christian Guzman or the next Max Tuning. It doesn't matter. You know, your, your version you have is your, the version you have yet now is the version you can create anything with. There's no limitation to whatever you can. Whole Foods is the best way of putting on lean muscle um, and, and getting kind of shredded as well. But supplements do help if you have the spare cash around. So I thought I'd make a, um, a quick kind of video on what I'm taking at the moment and what my methodology is when I do these kind of things and what I spend my money on and what I don't spend my money on. So first of all, I cover, just like my nutrition, I cover my three basis, um, basic kind of needs when I'm working out. So pre-workout, protein, and BCAAs. Okay, so I'll explain each one individually um, and then I kind of do a recap at the end of the video and I'll make sure any questions you have on supplements or anything like that, nutrition, anything like that, comment down below and make sure you like this video as well. So first of all, pre-workout. Anyone that knows me knows that I love caffeine and that I need, especially in my kind of profession, after just going into a session or you know five or six back to back to back sessions, um, I'm kind of a little bit more drained than I normally would. So I kind of need that little kick. Um, and that's what pre-workout pretty much is. It's a caffeine stimulant that enhances your workout and gets you focused a little bit more. Some have different kind of traits towards them and some have different kind of breakdowns. Um, and I'll leave all the links to the supplements I talk about down below so you can go and investigate for yourself because I believe as well, if you're watching this video, you can take my word for things as well, but also do your own research because again, it's your own body. So I wanna make sure that is clear um, and that you get all the right kind of steps before you start taking stuff and I'll explain everything for further on as well. So first of all, back to pre-workouts, I take it just as a stimulant, so it's a caffeine stimulant and it kind of gets my muscles firing a little bit quicker and gets me in the zone quicker before um, my workout. So what I do um, is I take one scoop of Hyde, which if it's going to focus there, okay so it's called Mr. Hyde, it's by ProSupps, um, all of these supplements that I talk about today minus the protein bars are from my um, ProSupps because what I do effectively is I find a brand that really works for me personally in my body and I just go for gold with them because um, everything works, I know you know my dollar value um, is getting achieved. They're really, really good prices. They're really, really accessible, and they're a really, really good company as well. Because I, you know, I believe in their philosophy and everything like that as well. So that's important that you just don't take a brand because, you know, it looks cool, but you take a brand because it works for you. So, pre-workout, I take two scoops of that um, with about, you know, 50 or 60 mils of water. Um, shake that a couple of times and then I down that 30 minutes before my workout so normally what I do is I do an active warm-up and I take my pre-workout then what I do is once I've had my pre-workout I jump onto BCAs so branched chain amino acids and these are the kind of building blocks of protein synthesis um, so it gets my body's ready for the protein that I'm going to absorb post-workout and it also means that it's going to protect my muscles intra-workout. So when you're dieting, especially now like I am, um, your body is more susceptible to muscle breakdown um, and your body is looking for storages, um, energy storages that in a workout to kind of break down and make sure your body can survive because at the end of the day your body wants to survive and that's the end goal. 
Um, so you want to protect that muscle or that lean muscle as much as you can and branch chain amino acids is the best way of doing that intra workout and it also means that I kind of have a little bit more water throughout the day because it gives that flavor as well so I take two scoops um, pre uh, intra workout of hydro BC double A's from ProSups and I have it's lemon lime at the moment I've had pineapple um, but lemon lime seems to be my favorite at the moment but again remember the properties of BC BC double A's is that protein synthesis and also the protective coat it puts on your muscles as well and it kind of suppresses the muscle damage throughout the workout and it's you know good to sip on um, throughout the workout as well to stay hydrated because remember water is key when you're working out so post-workout um, your anabolic window so that 30 minutes after the workout you want to consume protein because your muscles are to kind of die like you're wanting that protein to absorb to the muscle um, so you've had your BCAAs which means your, your muscles are already getting ready for protein synthesis so you take protein after workout to make sure your muscles are going to grow and get that size that you want now what you want to look for is you want there's different proteins out there so there's a, a mass gainer there's a casein protein and then there's a whey protein and there's different like there's a whey isolate and different kind of proteins but all I'm going to do today is talk about those three so your um, so your mass gainer is just the kind of a heavier duty kind of whey protein oh not sorry whey protein the mass gainer is kind of designed to put on mass so it's a little bit more high in calories um, there's different pr components in that as well which I'll link down below um, but today what we're going to talk about is whey and there's also that casein protein as well which you'll take before before you went to sleep because it kind of just makes sure your body is always functioning and always having a substance for it to eat from as well so um, so you have casein as well which means um, your body has more fuel to burn while you're sleeping um, compared to a whey isolate or a mass gain up so what I take is two scoops of PS whey glazed donut flavor okay so like like I said I've had um, pro subs whey for a very very long time for probably about a year at the moment year and a half um, and I've never been let down I've had a few different a um, few different brands optimum nutrition all that kind of stuff which is they're great brands as well um, but I, I just like the consistency of this protein especially with my oats in the morning and post-workout shakes as well so I have two scoops of that which is around about 45 to 50 grams of protein um, depending on if I have half a scoop or one and a half scoops depends on the amount but what you want to do is kind of want to look for anywhere between 25 to 35 grams of protein um, any more than that your body is kind of struggling to, to digest it um, and it's kind of just a wasted amount of calories and protein so anywhere between 25 to 35 grams of protein per serving um, and you'll be on your way so pun intended way you know but um, yeah so you just want to look for a protein substance at the end of the day anything protein is going to be good for you you just want to kind of look for the cleanest amount of protein that you can have post-workout because then that fuels your muscles for growth stimulation and obviously that's how you can get the bigger muscles um, and the body that you wanted as well so once you've had your two scoops of ProSups whey or any whey protein you've made sure you've hit your anabolic window your muscles are now recovered and energized and protected from your BCAs and protein so say let's say you don't like protein powder um, you don't like the drinks what other ways can you get protein in apart from obviously whole foods now there's protein bars so there's so many different ones on the market um, but one that I've found that really works for me in terms of taste and flavor is power crunch bars okay you can get these in four or five different flavors and again the link will be in the description um, but again it's also kind of coming down to how much time do I have to be able to to go to get my protein in and how much um, money you want to kind of spend so this is their boxes of 12 are around about 20 to 25 dollars at the moment Our prices can change as well but power crunch bars are probably my favorite bar at the moment apart from pro sups my bar um, these two I've found are probably the most effective for me and in terms of taste and protein and kind of um, nutritional breakdown and price point as well because obviously protein bars a little bit more expensive but coming from accessibility and the fact that I'm always busy and on the go between boot camps clients um, coming home to film videos doing heaps of things on the run these protein bars are a great source of protein 
and a good wee snack in between big meals. All right, now that I've just shown you that protein bar, that kind of rounds off the core supplements that I would say or I would recommend um, taking because I think each one has a property that you could benefit from personally um, and your body can benefit from as well. Probably pre-workout you don't necessarily need because you could get the stimulants from coffee um, and anything else like that so you don't necessarily have to go out and buy those and then again protein bars you don't necessarily have to go out and buy because you can get the protein from the protein powder itself um, but I'd say the number one thing you want to look at is protein and BCAs because the two properties actually benefit you um, in the long run in terms of protection of muscles and muscle growth and stimulation um, so the, if you're going to spend your money I'd say spend it on those two so BCAs and protein but what's left um, now you can dive there's so many different things on the market and there's so many different kind of products again do your research before you buy anything it's like buying a computer or anything like that try and find the price that suits you and also know everything about the product you're buying because at the end of the day you're you're digesting and ingesting this product so you want to know the full breakdown and again you can find everything down below in the links description so moving on um, the other things you want to look about is fat loss and sleep okay so fat loss is obviously when you're dieting when I'm dieting I want to get as lean as possible um, and the amount of time frame I've allowed myself to do that. I like having that caffeine hit in their thermogenic properties, meaning that it kind of increases my um, kind of sweat properties and makes me a little bit more hotter in the warm while I work out, so it burns a little bit more calories. And I like that feeling quite a lot, but it could be different for you, so I'm not saying going out and buying these. These last products that I'm about to talk about, I don't think they're a necessity at all. I just think if you want to buy them and you have the money lying around and you want to achieve your goals, um, and you want to try them out they're perfectly fine and I believe in these products as well so I've tested them myself so Vexim is just the ProSups fat burner you just take two capsules which is around 200 to 400 milligrams of caffeine 400 being the extreme when you take two capsules and one being 200 which is just one capsule so I have one of those with Centrum every morning before I go to work and that just gets my caffeine hit my body um, and those thermogenic properties working very very nicely throughout the day and when I jump into my workout I feel like I get a little bit more stimulation and fat loss potential. Another thing that I've tried and I've actually liked and I didn't actually think about when I was dieting last time was my sleep. Obviously you want to get as much sleep as possible and the best sleep possible as well. Obviously I have restricted hours because you know I get home at 11 um, I'm editing and doing all these videos for you guys which I absolutely love doing programs meal plans all that kind of stuff always busy So I get limited amount of sleeps, which is not ideal sometimes But I want to make the most out of the sleep that I do get and I found if I take a scoop of crash by ProSups It's gonna focus. Yeah, so if I get crash by ProSups um, I feel like my sleeps a little bit more um optimal and it also has kind of muscle protecting properties which means it regenerates my body overnight a little bit quicker than normal um, and it just kind of gives my body that fighting edge that it needs when it's in a um, calorie uh, deficit so those are all the supplements that I take at the moment um, and this is what I normally do when I'm dieting again I only cycle I cycle these every six to eight weeks so I take these for eight weeks and then I have a week off um, just to give my body a break and it also means that my body will react perfectly again to them because obviously um, Like everything in your body if you're taking something consistently It'll get used to the amount of quantity that you're having so those are my top protein uh, Those are my top supplements that I have at the moment again I'm not going, saying going out and buying these to get the same results as I'm getting at the moment because you know if you don't have your diet workout and kind of lifestyle under under control these supplements aren't going to do anything if you don't especially if you don't have your diet under control um, there's literally you're throwing your money away buying any one of these because if you don't have your diet and sleep and you know workouts perfect and and scheduled and, and consistent um, these aren't going to do anything near what they're supposed to do um, but I think especially protein and BCAs I think are a, a really really good tool to have um, when when kind of working out and trying to lose or gain weight so I hope you guys enjoy this video um, for a Monday. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, and especially comment down below how you found this video and what you guys want to see next week. And of course, I will see you in the next one.